I'm going to find the gradient first, and then I use one of the two points that they gave me and substitute it to find the value of B. So how am I going to find the gradient? Well, do you remember I told you that when I draw the graph, the gradient is has a, a numerator and a denominator. And the denominator tells me how many steps I should go forward and the numerator tells me how many steps I must go up for positive and down for a negative. Okay, so what I'm going to do to find the gradient is I'm going to place the points um, in order of the x going from smallest to largest. Well, let me do an example. So in this one it says find the equation of the line through the points uh, 1 comma 3 and negative 1 comma 1. Okay, so I must place it first in order so that the x goes from smallest, so the smallest x is negative 1. So that's the first point, it will pass through. The next point it will pass through is when x is equal to positive 1, 3. Okay, now to work out my gradient, my denominator tells me how many steps I must go forward. So x, on the x-axis I go forward. How many steps? Well, to go from negative 1, I get to 0, and then I get to positive 1. So to go from negative 1 to positive 1, I moved 2 steps. So it's 2 steps forward. And then for my numerator, I had to go from 1 to 3. So I went 2 steps forward, and then on my horizontal axis, I used, uh, on my vertical axis, I went from 1 to to 3. So my y value from 1 to 3. Also two steps up. Okay, And because it was up, it went from 1 to 3, not from 3 to 1. It is a positive. And that means my gradient is equal to 1. Which means in my equation, y is equal to ax plus b. I will find that a is equal to 1x plus b and now we see yippee we have one parameter left to solve b so to solve for b we substitute any point so I can choose any one of these two points both of them will work if I substitute any one of them into a and b so x sorry into x and y so when y is equal to 1 when x is equal to negative 1 plus b and then I see okay that will if I solve for b I find b is equal to 2 and so my co uh, complete equation is y is equal to 1x can just be written as x plus b is equal to 2 y is equal to x plus 2